Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Enchanted Path reading. The Enchanted Path is your life. So this reading is going to be a general reading. Anything can come out. This could be about love, family, career, money, um, abundance, spirit, anything. We'll just see what comes out. We'll start with a uh, enchanted map oracle and then we'll use the forest of enchantment tarot to do the reading okay so um, hope you have a wonderful memorial day weekend i'm filming this um, to, you know right to kick it off right um, but you may be watching this at any time because these readings are timeless Okay, so Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? Where are they at on the Enchanted map? And we get the Dragon's Lair. And that is the number 19, which breaks down to a 1 or a 10. Okay, let's just put that here. And let's read what it says about Dragon's Lair. Okay, you are always protected and divinely directed. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You're about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk, oh, greater value in risk taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. Wow. Okay. Let's, this is going to be a fun one, I see. Um, spirit, where, what is the current situation for Aquarius? Current situation for Aquarius. And we get the Keeper of Visions, which is the King of Cups. So we may be talking about an emotional adventure in the dragon's lair or love. What is the challenge for Aquarius spirit? What is the challenge? And we get the nine of boons, which is the nine of pentacles. Okay. And the advice from spirit. We have Starlight, beautiful, which is the star card. And the outcome. Spirit, what's the outcome for Aquarius? Oh gosh, we have a couple things that flew out here. Okay, so we get the Eight of Boons, which is the Eight of Pentacles. And we get the World card. Okay, so let's see what the story is here. Okay, so the King of Cups is someone who is um, emotionally stable and a leader and very intuitive. He, um, he recognizes his own emotions and his, um, his emotional flow as a resource. Okay, so he manages that very well. He knows where to put his, you know, his love and emotion and when to pull it out, right? Um, so the nine of pentacles, this is somebody or a state of being where the hard work has been put in. It's time to, you know, um, kind of enjoy the luxuries of life slow down a little and allow yourself to um, to enjoy the fruits of your labor so that may be where the challenge comes in for you this is the challenge position so maybe 
this is either a challenge I'm feeling about operating independently because this is a very independent card or maybe it's about taking that time um, to enjoy the fruits of your labor in the advice we have the starlight and so this is definitely um, divine protection this is about faith and hope and healing so I feel like I'm really getting that um, there is there is a need to recognize where your emotions are are going you know how um, how you're managing your emotions and looking at um, overcoming this um, this fear that is underlying your movement in in whatever direction you're going and moving independently okay that doesn't mean that you're going to be alone and I think that that's what this advice is all about is that you do have your spirit team around you you do have the guidance and protection of the divine so for the outcome we have the eight of pentacles and the wide world so I feel like, you know, you've done the hard work. You are mastering your craft or whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest, right? And now that, that cycle is coming to completion and being fully realized. Um, and it's like there's this whole wide world. It's just like a gateway into a whole nother world. Um, you know, this is... Um, the final card in the Forest of, of Enchantment Tarot, which the world card is usually the final card in all tarot. And really it's talking about stepping into a new gateway and see this, this is someone who's stepping out of the forest, which has been an enchanted path. But now we're going out into wide open spaces and it's a whole brand new world. But we have all the things necessary to be successful moving forward but it is time for a new cycle here and it can be very scary to step out into that I mean when you really look at this stag I mean he is um, subjected to you know being seen by hunters and and he can become prey by being out in this wide open but the risk is worth it because there's so much more to see, right? So let's get some clarification because this was all rather general. So why is the King of Cups here for Aquarius? And we get the Three of Swords, Three of Winter. And it says, reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from the situation, sadness that will heal with time. So I feel like there's definitely some, you know, some painful situation that you're recognizing you have to pull your emotions out of, right? You have to follow your intuition and go out on this journey alone um, or independently, Without whatever this painful situation, you may have to leave some behind. Um, what is the Nine of Pentacles here for, for Aquarius? And we get the Two of Spring, which is the Two of Wands. And it says, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. So yeah, I feel like it's definitely talking about embarking on a new journey. And it may be that you kind of, you know where you want to go, but it's like, how do you get there? And the challenge becomes, you know, being able to, whether you have to do it independently or not, um, you know, recognizing your own inner strength and power that you can move forward independently um, this card suggests that there may be some, someone along the way that, um, will partner with you, um, in order to move forward. Why is the star card here for Aquarius? 
which is you. So this is really astounding in your power, like I said. So we get the Ten of Pentacles. So it's Ten of Autumn. Take steps to ensure the financial security of your children or other loved ones. Making wise investments or planning for retirement. Honoring family traditions. So I feel like, you know, this may be a time to really count on your spiritual family. And um, that is what's being given here. The starlight is the guidance of the universe, the protection of the universe, the faith in the universe, the um, hope for this wonderful wide world that's out there. Okay. And this could be something, a new endeavor for you that's going to be very um, um, prosperous and uh, lucrative. And it could even be something where you are in the spotlight, where you are essentially a star. Um, so this could be about that. Okay. And why is this particular outcome here, this Eight of Pentacles and the Wide World for Aquarius? Let's clarify the outcome here. Okay. And we get the Three of Pentacles, which says, follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do, being compensated for your creative talents. So yeah, I definitely see something as far as the world stage here. I feel like you are really coming into your own and could be um, really doing something creative that is going to, you know, have a very large audience. And that is what you are moving forward to and, and, um, and will be doing so independently. I almost feel like this is going to sound really cliche, but it's almost like, you know, um, you're being, you may be, may have been offered, um, something and you may have been already in a group. Maybe it's music. I don't know, but you are being offered something and you're, you know, You're feeling led to take this offer, even though it's going to break up whatever this band is. And I mean, every rock star movie is about this, right? But it's, I don't think it's um, exactly that storyline, but it's something along those lines where independently is where you're really going to shine and where you're going to really be able to feel um, fulfilled and, you know, um, have that prosperous, fulfilling life that you've been uh, working so hard towards. Wow. Okay. So let's get an animal oracle card for Aquarius to close this out. Okay. We had three come out. So we have Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. We have the Badger Spirit, Be Fearless and Bold. And we have the Coyote Spirit, Trust in Divine Detours. And that is exactly what this is. This Dragon's Lair is going to be... Um, it's like... You're being asked to do this final challenge for this whole world to open up to you. And it's a real beautiful thing. You've worked hard for it. You earned it. And you can do it independently. You have the protection and guidance of the divine. Beautiful reading. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, have a wonderful holiday weekend. And remember that the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.